Hey guys, BearFox here and welcome back to another brand new video. Today, I'll be showing you guys the best settings and changes to improvise your gameplay and performance in PUBG PC. I hope this video helps you out, so watch this video till the end. Also, I have a small request. I've seen that 98% of you guys haven't yet subscribed, so consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon. Let's hit 50k subscribers ASAP and with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, let's move stepwise. Step number one is creating a restore point and this is really important step. For that, press your windows key and then type in create a restore point. Okay, now once you are here, scroll down until you find your local disk C, which says system, with it, click on configure and then make sure that turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on create and then name it PUBG FPS pack. So you know that after this point, the changes have been made with your PC. Then click on create and wait for some time. This is just a fail safe method so that if anything goes wrong, you can revert back all the changes to the point where nothing has happened to your PC. Once it's done, click on close and close this thing. Now, step number two is downloading the FPS pack. I'll be providing the link to this in the description below. Alright, so here's a short tutorial on how to download these files. Once you click on the link in the description below, you'll be coming to a page like this. Now scroll all the way down until you find this pink click here to download button. This is the actual download button. Now click on this and then close the ad. Click on it again and close the second ad. Now click on it on the third time and this will take you to recognize.com. Over here, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, the reason why you need to subscribe to my channel is because I put a lot of efforts making these videos and taking it out to you guys. So, I'd appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel and it really helps me out a lot. Also, do listen to the song I've attached over here. I just wanted to, you know, make this one different. So, yep, there you go. Once you downloaded the FPS pack, it should look like this. Now, this is a RAR file and if you have WinRAR, it's good, but if not, download 7-zip and then click on extract here. Now you'll see a folder like this. Just open it up and this one is rather simple. You'll find three folders in here. Let's go with the first one which says optimization and there will be five files in here. Now you have to right click and merge all of them. They have their specific reasons to exist. This one optimizes your CPU cores. This one optimizes your game cores. This one is for increasing the responsiveness of your PC. This one is to optimize Windows settings. And this one is to unhide silk smoothness, which is like this. Now, moving to the second folder, which is command.txt. And again, you'll find two power plans. First one is the ultimate performance. So for that, open up your CMD as administrator. And over here, paste it and then hit enter. Now go to your uh, command. <clears throat> now go to your control panel and then over here search for power options. Now in here you'll find the ultimate performance plan over here under the addition plans. You guys can just click select it and ultimate power performance will be selected. Next is the launch option and since all of you might have your uh, PUBG on Steam. Now once you are in Steam under the uh, player announce battleground which says over here right click on that go to properties and then under here launch options paste this code all the way over here. Now go back to the third folder which says memreduct quick CPU and timer resolution. Now here is a simple demonstration on how memory that actually works. As you guys can see there is 42% memory usage in my computer and as soon as I hit clean memory and I hit yes, the memory usage falls down and as you guys can see 1.44 GB of my memory has been released. It just cleans the cache of your computer, allows your RAM to work more freely and smoothly. I highly recommend you guys to run memory that each time you open up this game. Next is quick CPU. Now once you are in quick CPU, all you have to do is make sure that all of these three uh, core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost are running at a 100% and so is the performance running at 
Once you're done with this, click on apply and it should say changes applied successfully. Then close it. Last but not the least is timer resolution and we all know that we use it to reduce our timer resolution which is uh, we use this to uh, reduce the input delay. So use timer resolution, click on maximum and then close it. And with all of these three things, you are done with the FPS pack. Now again, it's safe to delete the FPS pack, it does nothing harmful to your PC. And again, if anything goes wrong with the registry files, you guys can always restore back your PC from the restore point we have created. Now let's move to the step number three, that is enabling the game mode. So for that, search for game mode and then go to game mode settings. Now over here, make sure that game mode is enabled, then go to graphic settings. And over here, make sure to go to browse and then go to the download location of PUBG. Now, once you are here, go to the um, binaries and over here you'll find tslgame.exe. Now, click on add and then go to options and then click on high performance and save it. Doing this will prioritize your GPU to the game and if you are having more than one GPU or if you are having like it, the integrated graphics as well as GPU and your game is confused which one to choose from, this will allow your GPU to be used for this game. Next is go to the download location of PUBG. For that, right click on that, go to manage and then go to browse local files. Now over here, go to TSL game, binaries, win64, and here is your game, tslgame.exe. Right click on that, go to properties, then go to compatibility, and make sure to disable full screen optimizations. Click on apply, and then click on OK. Now, close this folder, and then go back to your desktop, right click at any empty area, and then go to NVIDIA control panel. Now over here, go to manage 3D settings and then go to program settings. And over here, select PUBG from this drop down list. Now once you've selected player unknowns battleground, if it doesn't appear over here in the list, you guys can click on add and search for TSL game. Now do the following changes. FXAA off, CUDA GPUs all, low latency mode ultra, max frame rate off, power management mode prefer maximum performance, anisotropic filtering separation on, Texture filtering quality high performance, tri linear optimization on, threaded optimization on, and vertical sync off. Then click on apply. And now close your NVIDIA control panel. Next is exit lag, and I highly recommend you guys to use exit lag because it's pro's choice to reduce and eliminate lag. Exit lag has a list of over 250 games to choose from, and you can just search for PUBG over here. And you can add player unknowns battleground. Select your region. For me, it's gonna be Mumbai. Select the nearest region to you. For me, it's gonna be Singapore 01. And then optimize both of them. As you guys can see, we are going to get around 55 ping in game, which is almost good. Now, click on apply, and PUBG will be added to your recents. Then, go to tools and then go to FPS boost and make sure to enable the first, fourth and last two options. Exit lag is free to use for three days and you can register without credit card but after three days you need a subscription plan so they sell monthly, semi-annual and quarterly plan but if they are too high for you, don't worry because I got you covered. If you are paying for the first time and if you use code BEARFOX20 while checkout, you guys can get absolute 20% flat discount right on any of these three plans. So make sure you choose your plan wisely and let's get back on the track. Once you're done with all of the above steps, open up Player Unknowns Battleground or PUBG. Let's do the in-game settings. Alright, once you are in-game, go to your settings and then go to settings over here. Then in the graphic settings over here, if you are using NVIDIA Auto Capture, make sure to disable it and then scroll down and for display mode, I highly recommend you guys to use full screen display mode rather than any other and then scroll down for your render scale, keep it 80 for FOV, keep it 90 and then for the overall graphics quality, go for very low and then for the sharpen, go 
to enable and vsync go to disable and for DirectX version use 11 dx11 and this is just the basic settings you can just click apply and then your game will look really default so i hope this video had helped you out and if it did make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel also let me know in the comments below if this video helped you out or not we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out